Hello, humans! I'm Yo Schiller. Welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Folks, I'm gonna be up front with you. Today's video is probably going to focus exclusively on me selling turnips and hopefully on me selling fruit. Because in the previous Animal Crossing New Horizons video, I did a multiplayer video where I went to my friend Jughead's Island and I just bought a bunch of fruit and sold a bunch of fruit in hopes of being able to knock out a specific Nook Miles achievement that exists within this game. I'm hoping that by selling my turnips this morning, I will be able to get a million bells and then I will spend those million bells on fruits inside of a shop and then I will sell the fruits right back to the shop at a loss. But that's okay. I don't need the money. I need the Nook Miles achievement. So... I went online, and I went to this website called Turnip Exchange, and I found an island that's selling turnips for 600 plus bells. Oh, I might have to play the game a little later though. It is actually too early for me to sell turnips on my own island, so I don't even know what my turnip prices are anyway. Also, because I was at a shooting star show last night, that means there are going to be star fragments around my island. So, I will pick those up, but I also need to empty my pocket, so... I need to make sure I bring as many turnips to this island as possible. Seaweed, right. I need to see if Plathers has that. We'll, we'll just set it down for now. So, we'll, we'll, I guess I have to place it. We'll do that last. Okay, so white pumpkins, windflower wreath, and the spooky carriage. And we gotta hang on to the candy, because I'm gonna buy some candy when I go to this island and sell my turnips. Alright, and then drop those, and then we can drop that, and then we can drop that. And then we can finally- Oh, I did not mean to show it off! We could finally place it somewhere. Maybe, maybe over here will be good. Alright, place that item. Very good. And then... Eventually I'm gonna drop the star fragments, but I wanna go around my island and find them real quickly. So we're gonna drop that. And then I guess I won't need the wetsuit with me. And... We'll drop those. And we'll drop the wood pieces. Man, I just got done organizing my inventory pockets too, but that's fine. It is important that I sell these turnips because there was a separate Nook Miles achievement for selling 2 million bells worth of turnips. And I bought more turnips this week than any other week in the history of my time with Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is, what, like 25 weeks or so now? So, I would like to... Oh, no room here, huh? Very well. I would like to drop this. And I would like to sell all these turnips, hopefully knock out that Nook Miles achievement, and then never have to worry about buying or selling turnips ever again. Alright, the extra money is nice, but I just want to knock out Nook Miles achievement. So we'll get the extra money. Oh, before I forget, before I fill up my pockets with turnips, I need to stop by Resident Services real quickly and get some Nook Miles tickets. Oh, hello. You don't have a reaction to teach me, do you? You taught me all the reactions. Nah. Nah, see that's that's the type of thing that someone does when they want to teach me a reaction. They shout my they shout their nickname at me and then they run towards me. But no, I oh that sounds so rude, but I have things to do. I'm sorry, Bengal. I gotta get to someone else's island and sell turnips. I'm in a queue right now. And on that note, the person wants three Nook Miles tickets as payment for going to the island and selling my turnips. Some people want me to drop off bells after I sell my turnips, and others want me to drop off Nook Miles tickets, and this person wants three Nook Miles tickets, so I shall buy three of them. Aw, oh, doggone it! I didn't visit the Nook Miles machine yesterday because I just went to my friend Jughead's Island immediately and wished on stars and never visited resident services. That's my bad. But at least I have a more even Nook Miles ticket number. I mean, I guess the number's always even because it always ends with a zero, but it's a it's an easier number to read. 179,500. Anyway, that's one Nook Miles ticket. Let's get the next one. There we go. Boom. Alrighty. Easy peasy. And then we'll get a third ticket, and then I will wait a little bit on my island while, before it is my turn to go and visit this person's island. And with any luck, I'll be able to pop a balloon, and I'll get closer toward knocking out that Nook Miles ticket, or Nook Miles achievement. Anyway, that's the third Nook Miles ticket. Sorry if I sound tired. The truth of the matter is, I am tired. It's like 7 in the morning. And, you know, I normally, in the, in the past, I used to be okay with getting up early. I would go to school at this hour. I would have a zero period class, <laughs> but I haven't needed to get up at this time to record Animal Crossing in a long time. The truth of the matter- oh, well, there's something on the bulletin board, I'll check that out later. The truth of the matter 
is that I thought I would have some other work to do this morning. I got up at this hour ready to do the work, and it turns out I don't have to do that work. So, I guess my pockets are fine. I can leave the fishing rod here, I guess. I want to hang on to some tools, like a ladder or a vaulting pole, and I want to hang on to star fragments temporarily. Alright, let's pick these up. Anyway, I thought I was going to have some other work to do this morning. I got up ready to do this work, and it turns out I don't have to do the work after all. So I figured, alright, in that case, I'll just record Animal Crossing. Let me, let me knock out the turnip part of the video real quickly. Let me just get this done. That way, with any luck, I will not have to worry about it later. Because look at all the turnips I got here. I really want to make sure I sell them for a profit. Because otherwise, I'll be out so much money. But if I sell them all for a profit, I'll gain so much money. Technically, I've already gained a profit. Because I've sold turnips throughout the week. And I, I spent, what, like 1 million bells on turnips already. And I already made back 1.5 million. My pockets are already full, whatever. I've already made 1.5 million bells on these turnips. I haven't even sold them all. So even if I sold the rest at a loss, I would still have a profit overall. <sighs> I probably don't need the net. I want to hang on to the slingshot, though, because I want to wander around my island and pop balloons. So here's what I'll do. Let me do a quick lap or two around my island right now. Oh, more star fragments. Oh, I do want to pick those up. Uh... All right, let's let's drop one or two other items. Hang on to the slingshot. Hang on to the slingshot. Hang on to the ladder. Hang on to the vaulting pole. So, I guess I can put the fish wand down. Drop that. Okay. And now I'll have room for regular star fragments. And I want to get these because they'll be gone tomorrow. So we'll get those. Maybe pop a balloon or two. Yes, lots of star fragments. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I think a maximum of 20 can spawn on my island. 20 or 30. But I'm going to take everything I can get. Especially the large star fragments. Oh, that's not a large star fragment. That's a Libra fragment. Well, in that case... Fine, I'll leave my shovel here. Yeah, I should probably hang on to the vaulting pole. We'll leave the shovel here. And in case there's a bug or something I want to catch, I'll hang on to the net. Alright. Yeah, so let me let me put my star fragments all next to each other. That Those will be the three possible star fragments I could get right now. Libra fragments, large fragments, and default star fragments. Oh, and Gullivar is on my island. You can have Gulliver and Gullivar in the same week. Because I definitely had Gulliver earlier this week. I think I had him on Tuesday. I didn't know you could have them on the same week. I know they're technically different characters. But that's good to know. Because helping either one of them benefits me toward another Nook Miles achievement. After I help them 20, 30, 40, 50 times, I will gain access to a golden shovel. So I want to be able to do that. Knock out the Nook Miles achievement, get the golden shovel. Getting the golden shovel will help me toward another Nook Miles achievement. So, yeah. Hang on, I thought, it was my, I thought it was my turn to go to this other island. I thought I heard a jingle. But nope, I'm just hearing things. I'm going crazy. Because I'm lacking sleep and I decided, you know what's a good idea instead of going back to sleep? Playing Animal Crossing, but I'll be fine. I have the luxury of being able to take a break after I sell turnips. And I'm on someone else's time, so that's why I want to knock this out. I figured the earlier I do this, the less time I have to wait. And I'm, you know, I'm passing the time anyway. I'm doing things I would normally have to do. I'm picking up star fragments. I'm organizing my inventory. And I'm going to make a bunch of money. There, more star fragments. Oh, and then there's this. Alright, we're going to temporarily drop that. What's in here? Please be a new recipe so I can have inventory space. Please, what do we got? It is natural garden table, and of course, I already know it! Alright, we're just going to leave it there for now. We'll pick it up later. Let me take my Libra fragments back. Those are only available at this specific time of year. Okay, we're going in another circle. I did not see any balloons. If there was a balloon and I missed it, I apologize. I know sometimes when I go back through editing, there are one or two balloons that I notice that I missed, but when I play the game and I'm commentating at the same time, I just don't always see balloons. But I think that time there were no balloons. I feel pretty confident saying that. If I could pop just one balloon before it's my time to go over to this island and sell my turnips, that would be great. Otherwise, you know, it's, it's fine. I'll pop balloons at a different time, but I didn't pop any balloons yesterday, I think. Did I? I don't, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I just went straight to Jughead's Island. I didn't even go to Resonant Services, so I probably missed a balloon. But whatever! I want to pop a balloon, and then when it's my turn to sell the turnips, I will fly over and I will do so. Where are the balloons, man? Where are they? <laughs> I just need one balloon. And then I'll be... Yeah, there's one! I don't even need to get what's inside of it, and I probably won't be able to get what's inside of it because it's flying over my flower garden, and if it lands on the flowers... It won't actually be able to drop in an empty space, and because it won't drop in an empty space, it'll just disappear. Yep, goodbye. It just, my, my flower absorbed it, but great! I was able to pop a balloon! 
Nice! I did that! I'm one step closer toward getting the golden slingshot! In due time, folks! Today, I'm getting closer toward getting the golden slingshot and the golden shovel! And then we'll have to get the golden net and the golden fishing rod a, a month or two from now when the final few bugs and the final few fish are available. But okay, now that that's done, I feel okay leaving my fragments behind because I'm just gonna wait inside the airport now. Feel okay leaving these behind. Let's get three more turnips with me. Two, three. I could leave the slingshot. I should leave the slingshot. I should take as many, many turnips as I can. All right, we're gonna leave this. And I, I might have to do it. I might have to do it. Okay, we're gonna go wait inside the airport. And then I'm gonna sell my turnips and make millions of bells, or at least one million. But I just, I just, I just, I can take two more things if I leave two more things. I can clear that final column. So, all right. I can leave. I can leave the vaulting pole. I don't think I'll need it to get to the shop. Uh, I'll leave the, leave the ladder. Okay, fine. There. Knocking out this column of turnips. Now I'll go to the airport. I will wait and I will make at least one million bells. Oh, I have been waiting for this moment. It is finally my turn, folks. Whoa! No! No! <laughs> Come on! Alright, someone's probably in the middle of selling their turnips too, so let me wait like a second or two, and then let me try again. Alright, are we gonna be good now? Please tell me we'll be good now. Again, I'm not the only person that needs to sell my turnips today. But I gotta go to someone else's island. My shop's not even open right now, and my turnip prices have been terrible all week. Whoa! Whoa again? I gotta wait another second or two, and then we'll try it again. So let's try it again. Come on. Third try is the charm. Please. Let me do this and let me go to sleep. Alright, good, 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 good. Alright, yeah, maybe someone was in the middle of the dialogue box at the Nook's Cranny shop and was selling turnips. Or maybe someone was trying to leave. Or maybe someone was typing thank you. I don't know, but I'm going over there now. And I'm gonna sell my turnips. Almost my entire inventory is full of turnips. This is the most turnips I think I've ever carried. You know, the only other thing in my pocket right now is what, a bug catching net? Why did I... Why did I even bring that? I don't know, I feel, I feel so naked. I feel so vulnerable. I'm only carrying turnips. How am I supposed to get around this person's island? I do know that resident services has to be accessible on the person's island. You can't... Well, I guess at first you can't put it across a river, but... I guess once you gain access to terraforming, you could block it off. Ah! You know, but I get the feeling that's not gonna be a problem. <laughs> you know, I went to an island that was very similar in structure to this. Where it had a whole lot of nothing. Ah, you got some stuff there. You got some flowers, you got some fences. The island, I believe, is just under construction. And there are multiple people here. Alright. I don't know which of these people is the owner. I hope the rightful owner will get these Nook Miles tickets I... Broad. I did keep them in my pockets, right? I didn't drop the Nook Miles tickets by accident. Oh, if I dropped them by accident, that's gonna be embarrassing. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I brought them with me. I dropped everything but the Nook Miles tickets in, like, a bug catching net. I think I'm fine. How many, how many pockets do I have? 30 total? So I've been carrying 28 slots worth of turnips. 2,800 turnips. That's a lot of turnips. I better knock out that turnip. Sell, sell turnips for 10 million bells, Nook Miles achievement. Whew. I know that the developers are expecting you to knock out these Nook Miles achievements over the course of many years with this game, but since I only play the game for an hour each day, this is the only way I can knock them out. Ah, hey, I just... Oh, someone's leaving. I was gonna say. It's like I just stepped out of the airport. How can someone already be on their way here? All right, fine. We'll sit through this. It's fine. It's cool. I get it. Gotta be patient. Other people are selling turnips as well. The host of this island is generously allowing random people such as myself to come over and sell turnips in exchange for some Nook Miles tickets, which are easy peasy to give as gifts. I'm not really spending my Nook Miles on anything else. We were at a black loading screen for a long time. That makes me a little nervous. Okay. That's my fear, is spending all this time waiting in a queue and then having the internet disconnect, whether it's on the Switch, the computer, or both, and it ruins it for everybody. But I'm at, I'm at the island. The hard part is done. Okay, so we're saving. We're good. Well, we're not good yet. I didn't sell the turnips yet, but that person was able to sell his or her turnips, save the game, and leave the island. So, I will have my chance soon, I hope. It's fine, I was hoping this would have been done before I got here. 
I guess the other person was also patiently waiting, trying to leave, and then they figured, oh, I'll just leave after the next person gets here. Okay, someone's leaving again. That's fine. Everyone's trying to leave at the same time. I get it. The host doesn't want to kick people off the island by pressing minus, because, that, because then that requires obtaining a new dodo code. So we just have to wait for individual people to leave. But if this is the worst thing that happens today, me waiting for people to leave this island, I should consider myself lucky. This is nothing. Waiting, a, waiting an extra minute or two to be able to get a million bells? Easy. Waiting an extra minute or two to be able to get millions of bells and knock out a Nook Moth achievement and buy candy at someone else's shop? Can't forget that. I gotta buy someone else's candy because I can only buy one piece of candy from my shop every day and I haven't even bought candy from my shop yet. Gosh darn it! I've taken like three steps from the airport! Oh, I get it. I'm not the only person selling turnips today. You know, I thought this would have been easier with me recording in the morning. But for some reason, it seems a bit more busy. I guess that's what happens when someone has great turnip prices. This person's turnip prices are 600 plus bells. Hang on, you're Ellie from Castaway? Have I seen you before? I guess the, the name Castaway for an island isn't completely original Animal Crossing New Horizons, but I feel like someone came to my island before to sell turnips and the island's name was Castaway. Maybe I'm wrong about that and maybe I'm right about that, but the person's name wasn't Ellie. But even so, welcome Ellie. All right, but then it should be my time to finally go in and sell turnips. Look, I've been recording for 30 minutes. I'll probably edit out most of this, but I've, I've been recording for 30 minutes and all I've done today is drop all of my items on a beach, pop one balloon, and stuff my pockets with turnips. Oh, you know what though? You know what though, Ellie? That's a cool costume. Are you trying to look like, what? what's her name? Roddy Tops from Shantae? Or are you just trying to look for, look at like a cool Halloween based costume? Cause it looks cool either way. You got the green hair and the green makeup and the pirate hat. I think you're trying to be Roddy Tops. I guess there, there could be other green pirate characters. I don't know. Whatever. Hello, I'm here! Okay. Hi, are you the owner of this island? Because if you are, I would like you to have this. So that way you know I am thankful for coming to your island. I'm gonna follow these. I'm gonna follow these. Hello. What is your name? You're blocking the path that I need to go on. Hi there, nice to meet you. I'm Tia. I haven't seen you around. Da -da -da. Your name's Yoshiller. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get through. I can't get through. Oh, it's the top of the hour, guys. I've been waiting for so long. Oh, this isn't where the shop is. I thought this is where the shop is. Where's the shop? Oh, it's right below me. Doi. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I thought... Yeah, I, I guess I was supposed to follow those little Animal Crossing stamps. I just was supposed to go down. Oh, other people put the tickets in front of the shop. Alright, well, I'm still... I'm sure it's still okay. Alrighty. So... I will... Oh, some, there's other people here. There's a lot of people here. How did you get here before me? I took like a slight detour. Roddy Top's pirate person got here before me. Alright, so let's verify. Turnip prices. 637 bells! Ooh, that is so good. Alright, most turnips I've ever carried with me. Here we go. Boom. Look at all this. Look at all this. Look at all this. All right, how many? Okay, what do we got? For a total of 2.293, 200, 2,293,200. <laughs> and I still haven't knocked out the Nook Maw's achievement. Okay, well, as soon as Roddy Tops over here is done, I'm gonna buy some candy. In the meantime, I wanna see. How close I am to knocking out the stock market. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me be quick with this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Look, I, I waited enough for people to get to the island. I, you guys can wait like five seconds for me to check my Nookwiles achievement. Where is it? Cornering the stock market. Ah, oh, I still need another 1.6 million bills. All right, let me buy a piece of candy and then I too shall get out of here. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm going. Eat. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I'm rude. I'm trying to, I'm, to, to okay, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy some oranges because I hope to be able to sell some fruits on my island today too and knock out that other Nook Files achievement, all right? Now, if you don't mind me, I'm just gonna carry these 2.2 million bells in my pockets and take some more oranges. 
All right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm done. I bought my candy. You bought my fruit. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm so sorry. I get it. I know how frustrating it can be. I'm out of the menu now. You guys can go. All right. <sighs> All right, if I didn't edit stuff out, this video would be like 75% loading screens. All right, I'm done. I'm done. The owner of this island specifically requested that each player leave through the airport. So you, I'm assuming you're the owner. I'm going to give you the TY. Thank you. Very good. And then I'll give you the delight reaction. Okay. Now I too shall leave. Thank you for opening your gates. Thank you for letting other players and myself onto your island to sell turnips. I got 2.2 million bells. And I am content with that. But I still have more turnips to sell. Darn it. I just hope that today my own island has... Somewhat decent turnip prices. Okay, I bought the turnips for 91 bells each, so somewhat decent to me is 92 bells or more. <laughs> if they're 92 bells, I will sell the rest of the turnips on my island today. I can't even get off the island! I can't leave! Fine, fine, you know what? I'm trying one more time, and if I can't get it, I will forfeit this, and I will just, I, I will let someone else do what they need to do. I can't leave. I can't leave. All right, I'll forfeit this. What is someone else trying to do? Is someone trying to get to the island right now? No one else should be trying to leave right now. I want to go home. Darn it! I thought I could beat it. No, I think someone's trying to get to the island right now. Ugh. So as I said, if I wasn't editing this video down, this video would be like 75% loading screens. All right, all right, let the person come to the island. I sure hope I remember to edit stuff down. I'm home. I'm home! And because it's past 8 a.m. now, the shop is open! I will see what my own turnip prices are in just a moment. And if they're terrible, I'm, I'm gonna take a nap and I'll come back later. Hey Mac, how you doing? 100 laps around the island? Maybe not today. Hi Stu, how are you doing? Let's talk. Everything tastes great? Yeah, okay. Oh, and I got a Nook Mild Achievement for talking to three of my neighbors! Nice! And then Water Flowers is one of my Nook Mild Achievements. Maybe I'll do that later. I don't know about fishing. I don't know about catching a banded dragonfly, but we'll see. Alright, what is the message on the bulletin board? On October 24th, it is Brofina's birthday. All right. October 24th, two weeks after my birthday and one week before Halloween. Well, rest assured, Brofina will celebrate your birthday. I still have to knock out that Nook Mazda TV for celebrating birthdays, but I think I'm only three or four birthdays away. But it certainly helps when a villager on my own island is celebrating a birthday because I don't have to fly anywhere else and it makes Brofina like me more. And I'm, I'm going to be seeing her almost every day. I better hope that she likes me. Okay, let's deposit some money. All right, let's deposit like 2.2 million bells. Yeah, two, two, zero, zero, zero. Oh, that was only 220,000. Guys, I'm tired, I'm sorry. Let's try that again. So then we'll do two, two million this time. And I still have 75,000 bells in my pockets and I still haven't knocked out the Nook Miles achievement for selling 10 million bells worth of turnips. But to be, to be fair, I guess if I had sold 10 million bells worth of turnips, there would be 10 million bells in my bank account, right? I mean 100, 200,000, maybe 300,000 bells in my bank account were given to me when I had good turnip prices on my island and I let other people sell their turnips. But if I was at 10 million bells in my bank account, that would be because I had 10 million bells from selling turnips. Okay, so please, 92 bells are better. I would love, love, love to sell turnips for a profit right now. And then I could finally clear the turnips off of my beach. What do we got? Hey Timmy, Tommy, you guys are hard workers. Please, oh my god, why are my turnip prices so bad all week? If I didn't have Nintendo Switch Online, I would be screwed. I'm I'm really just paying to win. Well, you guys can have the oranges. I will be 10 fruit closer toward knocking out that Nook Miles achievement. With any luck, I'll still be able to sell fruit today. But what I'm actually thinking is gonna happen is, I'm gonna take a nap. I'll come back in a couple hours. I'll check my afternoon turnip prices. They'll presumably still be terrible. And then I'll fly to someone else's island and try to sell the rest of my turnips. That's what I think is going to happen. I thought I was going to spend the day selling fruits after I sold some turnips, but it looks like today I'm just selling turnips. No fruits, only vegetables. I guess in the meantime I could put some stuff back in my pockets. Maybe I can try to pop another balloon before I take a break for today. I don't know. Let's get my tools back in my pockets and then we'll leave some of the other stuff here for now and pick it up later. Because if the, either way, if the turnips are going to my island, I would need to fill my pockets with turnips anyway. So let's let's put the tools back. So golden axe is not a favorite, at least not yet. I don't want it to be a favorite right now. So slingshot can go over here. 
The watering can is actually not supposed to be a favorite. Let me remove the star off of that. All right. And then I'm missing my shovel, which I set over on the right side of the island. That's right. So the, the net, the wand, the fishing rod, the stone axe. Yeah, those two can trade places. Can trade places. And then I have a regular axe, which I might sell later. Who knows? All right. And then golden axe can chill out over here for a bit. And then regular axe. Go over here. And then I need to grab my shovel. And then there are more star fragments on the beach because there's one down there to the southeast. Yeah, doy, doy. The, the one favorite tool that I'm missing is the shovel. Okay, so we'll take that. I guess I may as well take my other Libra fragments too. Keep, keep these all together. All right, I'll, I'll set these all back down afterward. I just want to keep them together. Same thing with the gold nuggets. Actually, I guess I didn't need to pick up the gold nuggets, but whatever. I did. I did, darn it. There we go. More fragments! Yes. Yes, I'm loving these fragments. I might craft something with them in a little bit. Here we go. Let's, let's just take that. Any balloons? More fragments are fine, though. Here's my shovel. Here's that fragment. Okay. Oh, yeah, I still have to help Gullivar. Maybe I'll help him out real quickly, too. So, shovel... Chill out over here. Okay. Oh, because I'm helping Gullivar, though, I'll need to grab my wetsuit. Okay, I'll, I'll do that in a sec. So, yeah, let's keep the gold tools together. I get the feeling I'm going to get the golden shovel next. Because I'll get that after helping Gulliver and Gullivar enough times. Okay. Oh, I got I got to get my wetsuit. Okay, hang on. Let me do that. Let me get the wetsuit. Then I'll wake him up. Then I'll do quick deep sea diving. I'm not going to worry about getting a scallop today. It'd be nice to get a scallop. It's not my focus today. I just want to help Gullivar real quickly, and then I'll, I'll jump forward to the afternoon, and we'll see what happens from there. If I have decent turnip prices on my island, I'll sell the rest of my turnips here, and then I'll spend the rest of the day selling fruit. And if I don't have decent turnip prices on my island, I will go to someone else's island and sell turnips again. Okay, so let's put that on. There we go. All sets. I am so glad that I have a green wetsuit. And I'll, I'll take the wood pieces, too. There you go. Keep the wood pieces together. And one batch of tree branches. Two batches of tree branches. Okay, you know what? We'll just take all the stuff that goes in the top row. So, the fragments can chill out down here. Because my top row is usually tools. And then it's iron nuggets, clay, stones, tree branches, wood. So, not in any particular order, but the wood is usually in the top right. Okay, and then I guess I can take the pumpkins back. I guess I don't need to pick up all of this. I just am doing so. Because I'm going to stop by my house after this and put some stuff in storage so I don't have to worry about it later. I got pine cones. We're set. All right. So let's go help Gullivar. I let him sleep for another minute. But that's usually bad because when you're in the process of waking up, the last thing you want to do is go to sleep right afterward because then it's just going to be harder to get up after that point. But all right, Gullivar. Let me help you real quickly. Well, all right. I'm sorry it's come to this. But I'm going to have to do it. Here it is. Hi. There you go. All right. Well, oh, you're sneezing? I'm sorry. Blimey, maybe freezing. Da -da -da -da. Yes, yes. Normally, I'd be interested in reading your text, and I respect you very much as a character, Gullivar. But I just want to help you and then get back to selling stuff and knocking out Nook Miles achievements on my island. Although, helping you in and of itself does get me toward a Nook Miles achievement. Okay, yes, your trusted communicator is lost in the ocean. I have to go and get it. Thank goodness I've got a wetsuit. All right. Yes, I will help you. Easy peasy. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. All right, put that away. And you know, I'm, I'm gonna jump in the water. I'm not just gonna walk into the water like I usually do. I'm jumping in. Here we go, and a hop up. There we go, nice. It is somewhat satisfying. Okay, so this communicator part kind of just randomly generates in front of me, right? And it usually just has a normal amount of bubbles, nothing extra. So, I mean, this could be it. Although it's moving, I don't think the communicator part can move. Nah, this is a muscle. I don't need that. Thank you, though. What I need is a communicator part and a nap. <laughs> That's really what I need. <sighs> okay, let's try this one. This has an ample amount of... Bubbles. Is this it? That's it. Very good. Nice, easy peasy, quick. I don't have a Nook Miles achievement right now for doing deep sea diving. And while I could go for a scallop, 
Tis not necessary. There will be future deep sea diving days. I am sure of it. So, hey, man, I got your communicator part. Happy to be of assistance for you and your other bird-like brethren earlier this week. That's for you. All right, now, with any luck, I'll be able to find and pop another balloon, and then I'll stop inside my house, drop off a ton of stuff, and then we'll be back later. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Flying through this. All right. We're good. We're good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Any balloons, though? Anything? Anything at all. Any balloons. I just need one balloon to feel a little better. All right. Ty bought what's going on, man. Ha! This is weird! I take one look at you and my trubs. Okay. Your trubs all vanish. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. I'm still looking for a balloon. Can I please... Get a balloon. I would like one. The only way I can really better my chances of finding one is to run around my island. And hopefully in doing so, I'm not missing a balloon that just spawned on the right side of my island. But I guess we'll see. Anything on the left side of the island? There was a balloon over here earlier. I popped one balloon today. That's a star fragment. Well, I guess in that case, I'm glad that I came back over here. And then there's another DIY bottle. But I just got a recipe. I already got a recipe that washed up to my island today. There's another one? Orange hat. And I already know. Right? I'm not crazy about that, right? I did get another recipe already today out of a DIY bottle, and I already knew it. Wasn't it like a garden chair or garden table or something? Hang on, let me, let me grab this real quickly. Yeah, and then I set it down over here. Hang on. I did set it down, right? Yeah, I did. What the heck? I got two DIY bottles today? Insanity. Okay. Cool. I'll take them. I'll sell them. I don't want to go inside of a shop just yet until I find another balloon. Because once I go inside, any balloons that might be flying by will reset. So once I pop a balloon, I will be comfortable going inside of a shop or my house or whatever and selling stuff and putting stuff in storage or crafting something or anything. Come on, one balloon. I've been outside for quite a bit. I helped out Gullivar. I organized my inventory a bit. I don't know what to say. I just need one balloon, and one is not spawning. What the heck, man? I just need one balloon. Oh, I'm knocking the petals off my flowers. It's just yellow flowers, so it's not that big of a deal, but I, I shouldn't do that. All right, I'll go down the waterfall path this time. Maybe that'll mix things up. It worked last time. I went down the waterfall path, and then sure enough, a balloon spawned over in my flower garden. So let's loop over to the left. All right, is there a balloon over here this time, huh? No, nothing. At least nothing that I can see. I probably could hop further back and try to see one, but nah. Not seeing one. Doggone it. I just need to pop one more balloon. Oh, I promise I can make more entertaining videos, but sometimes a guy's just got to pop 300 balloons so he can gain access to a golden slingshot. Yeah, I think at this rate I'm definitely sooner going to get access to a golden shovel. And I am a golden slingshot because I'm, I'm sooner going to be able to help Gulliver and Gullivar than I am going to find enough balloons over my island to pop. Come on, there's got to be something. There's got to be one. Oh my god. I just need one, guys. I think I picked up all the star fragments I could possibly spawn on my island, too. I didn't wish on that many stars last night, all things considered. I already picked up a dozen, two dozen star fragments. I think that's going to be it. Oh, man. Ah! Finally! They sure like spawning on the left side of my island today, huh? There's not a thing where in the mornings the balloons spawn on the left side and at night they spawn on the right side. Is there? Gosh darn it! Doggone it! Yeah, because it's technically going over higher land, it's raising an elevation. Maybe I can cut it off as it goes over my house. Again, I don't have to get what's inside. It's just about popping the actual balloon. Oh, it's, it is dropping down. Hmm. I've never popped a balloon behind my house before. There we go. Nice. Cool. All right, what was in this one? It was pendulum clock. Cool. All right, I'll take that. And I guess this is a good excuse to go inside my house and drop off some stuff. But I would like to stop by the shop for, uh, shop first or my house first? I guess the shop first. Let's sell the extra DIY recipes. They're just taking up inventory. And let's pick up my other items while I'm at it. 
because if I'm gonna go inside anyway, I may as well deposit everything. So boom, boom, boom. Nice, cool, cool. Really, my pockets are full? Okay, what, what can stay here? What's something I don't have to sell immediately? DIY recipe, fine. We'll come back for that later. And then the seaweed. Yeah, I, I picked up seaweed because it says that that's a new deep sea creature for October. Yet, when I obtained it earlier, I I didn't do the reaction where it was like, Hey, I got something new! It, it's like I got seaweed before. So that leads me to believe that maybe I got it before, but I never gave it to Blathers. I just, I don't remember. So we're gonna stop by the museum real quickly, see if Blathers wants this seaweed. It, it's not... I guess it is a creature, right? It's an underwater plant? I don't, I don't know. Blathers, do you want some seaweed? Will you do anything with it? Alright, here we go. So, make a donation. Okay. Nope, you don't need it. Or if you do need it, I've already given it to you in the past. Alright, well that settles that. I don't have to worry about finding seaweed ever again. I found all three new creatures for October. I found the lobster. I found the, the, and Angela net thing. I think that's what it's called. And I found the seaweed. Okay, great. So now I gotta wait for next month for more fish, bugs, and deep sea creatures to spawn. And that's when it's gonna get crazy. But since Blathers doesn't want this seaweed, I will sell it. And before... Uh, okay. Whatever. I need to clear my inventory slots first. Alright, here we go. So. Seaweed. Muscle. Oh, I guess that's really it. I was gonna sell you the DIY recipes, but I dropped them all, huh? Uh... I guess that's it. Alright, how much for those things then? 2,100 bells? I mean, I'll take them. Thank you. Next step is to stop by my house and drop off all of these things. And I'll sell the other DIY recipes that I dropped a little later. Man, I've been, I've been playing this for longer than I thought. I, it's still my intention for this to only be the first half of the video. I'm really tired. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the stones should go up there. I've got extra star fragments that I don't want to sell. I always want to hang on to star fragments. The gold nuggets can go up there, I guess. Let's stop by my house, drop off some stuff. Actually, let's craft. Let's craft something that utilizes these star fragments. I just got a recipe for a starry wall, right? So let's go by order obtained. There we go, yeah. Okay, one large star fragment, five regular star fragments. I've got them. There we go. I don't know if I'll put this in my house, but I made it. And then is there another... Star related thing I can make right now while I'm carrying all of these star fragments in my pocket. Let me see. So, already made the other nighttime wall. I have, tech I have a moon, but I've never crafted one before. I could craft this. I only have one more large star fragment, huh? Can't make, I don't have Gemini fragments. Doggone it. I don't have Virgo fragments. I finally get the golden nuggets I need, but I don't have the fragments for the other months. Alright, well, I already have a star wand, but I've never crafted one. I'm tempted to make this or the sci-fi wall. Maybe the sci-fi wall because I just made wallpaper, right? So that way I can put the two wallpapers in together. So there we go. I already have a star wand, so there's really no rush for that. And now I've got extra wallpaper! Hooray! I'm already content with the wallpaper in my house, but now I have them. I'm trying to craft at least one of every item in the game. I know there's no Nook Model's achievement for that, but at least that way I just have bragging rights and I can say that I did it. Alright, so now everything goes away. So that goes in storage. Okay, storage. The that the bandana goes in storage. The poster. I'll hang that out on a wall later if I remember. Clock storage. Sandals storage. All right, wreath storage. One of these days I'll have to go back through my storage, take out all the wreaths, and just give them to villagers and see if I can hang them on their doors. All right, there we go. Boom. Nice spooky carriage storage. Pendulum clock storage. All right. Pockets are much more empty now. Don't think I need anything else. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm gonna head back outside. Okay. So, I picked up star fragments. I popped multiple balloons. I sold turnips. And I cleared up my inventory by putting stuff into storage. I, in weird ways, would consider all of that to be progress for today. But... I do plan to play this game a little later in the afternoon where my turnip prices will change and with any luck I'll sell the rest of my turnips today and we'll make progress then. Alright, I would love to pop one more balloon but I don't think that's going to happen. I guess I'll just pick up my DIY recipes in the meantime. Alright, that'll do. I crafted some wallpaper using the star fragments I did pick up. We're good. 
We're good. We're hanging in there. All right. So in that case, if there is no one more balloon that wants to show up right now, eh, I'll take that as a no. All right. I think I'm just stalling time. Is Gullivar even still here? Yeah, I helped him. So I, I did that today. All right. Then in that case, that's probably going to do it for now. I will jump ahead. I will be back in a couple hours. And at that time, we're going to see how the rest of this video is going to go. It's either going to be me selling a bunch of my... Well, no matter what, I'm selling turnips. But whether or not I do it on my island or someone else's island, we shall see. For now, we'll be back in just a moment. Whoosh! All right. A moment has passed. It is now much beyond the time of noon, which means that my turnip prices for this time of the day should have changed. So let's hope that they're anything better than 91 bells. Anything, please. Please, you can't tell me that my turnip prices have been bad all week. Please. 92 bells are better. It's a, it's a small ask. 50? How does it keep going down? Did the stock market crash or something? What the heck, man? Okay, that, that settles it then. I have to go to someone else's island and sell the rest of my turnips. This is ridiculous. The one week... Where I buy so many turnips, I don't even know what to do with it. It fills up my beaches because I don't know where else to store them. And that's the week where I can't get one single three-digit number for my turnip prices. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, I say. All right. Well, then that just means that I need to drop more of my items and get ready to sell even more turnips. So let me make sure I've got everything in order. So the guy who's going to help me sell my turnips. His name is Elite Sky Shaman. He helped me earlier this week. He's got great turnip prices available. I'm gonna go ahead and drop all my DIY recipes right here right now and I'm gonna go over to Elite Sky Shaman's Island and I'm going to sell some more turnips and I'm going to get even more bells. So here we go. See, I, I was prepared for this. If my turnip prices were just 92 bells or better on my island, I would have just spent the rest of the day on my island. But I was ready! For them to be bad. Not this bad. I didn't know it was going to go further down. But, you know, I figured I should contact someone on Twitter to see if that person has good turnip prices just in case. And sure enough, it's going to turn out to be a great thing that I did that. The only problem then is that it means that this entire video will be devoted to me selling my turnips. And even then, I will not have sold all of them. Gosh darn it. I didn't think this entire week was going to be devoted to turnips. Hang on, I'm, I'm getting a message from him. There we go, okay. There. I didn't think this entire week was going to be devoted to turnips. I thought, you know, maybe I'd spend one or two days selling turnips. I made a pretty big deal about buying all these turnips earlier this week, but man! Man, oh man. Okay, there, I cleared out another column. Alright, there. Ah, see, I still got so many more turnips to sell! Well, that'll have to do. Well, actually, no, it won't. I can drop more items, but... What else? Alright, clay, sure. Axe, sure. Alright, now I can add two more turnips. Look, I've already made a profit, it's just a matter of selling my turnips and getting the Nook Miles achievement. Once I get that, I never have to worry about buying turnips ever again. <sighs> okay, there's no more star fragments or anything though, right? I mean, I left and then shut off my game and then came back and they're all gone. And is Gullivar gone too? Is he done? Did he go away for a bit? Nah, he's still here. If I wanted to take a picture with him, I could, but nah. This shall not be the time for me to take a picture with him. If a balloon wants to fly by, I would be more than willing to pop it. I mean, I am just kind of stalling time until it's my turn to sell turnips. But okay. Okay. This'll, this'll be fine. Alright. Well, in that case, I guess I'll make my way to the airport. <gasps> Pietro, is it the time? You're ready for the most powerful tool I can give you? Pay attention for this is the greatest and most visceral reaction one can learn? Ahem. I love you! Oh, I already know the love reaction, Pietro. Oh, showmanship. Use showmanship wisely, but there's no real long way to use it. Hey! Well, there you go! Now there's no debate as to whether or not I made progress today. I learned the secret reaction from Pietro, and there's a balloon right here? Things are coming up, yo, Schiller. Oh, I missed the balloon, though. Let me try that again. Things are coming up, yo, Schiller. Well, that's not so bad. I'm gonna get like two million more bells. I'll drop my drop my that real quickly. What is this? This is gonna be please be a recipe. I don't know or just bells or a retro gas pump that I will drop right here. That's fine, too Okay, take that actually I guess I 
could go set that down. Nah. To the airport! All right, it's that time. Time to make another million, maybe even two million bells off of turnips. I'm not carrying as many turnips as I was earlier in the video, but my inventory is still almost entirely turnips. So I'm gonna fly to this person's island, I'm gonna sell my turnips, I'm gonna get a million bells, I'm gonna buy a piece of candy, and then I'm going back. And then, if the person's okay with it, maybe I'll sell some more turnips on the island. If not, not a big deal. I can settle for selling the rest of my turnips on my island for a loss because I've already made a profit this week. I'm really just trying to knock out that Nook Miles achievement, and the more times I can sell these turnips for millions of bells, the better. I just didn't think it was going to take up so much focus. Oh wait, you guys might remember this island. Yeah! Look at the memes! I was here earlier this week, but it was all dark. Now it's all bright out. Oh yes, look at this. The Goku one. The Goku one. Alright, yeah, and there he is, sitting on the moon. Very good. Come to think of it, I don't have the recipe to craft that little crescent moon just yet. In due time, in due time. I got a few more star fragments, but I used up the last of my large fragments. But we'll, we'll craft all of the all the constellation star stuff in due time. For now, we are focusing on turnips. We focused on stars yesterday, though I say focused loosely, but that was yesterday's topic. <laughs> Check out this crazy reaction. Hey man! It is a delight to see you! Thank you for letting me on your island. And thank you for creatively blocking off the rest of your island with all of these fun robots and star fragment things. I will be sure to give you a tip afterward. For now, let me just fill my pockets with bells instead of turnips. Alright, here we go. Well, let's buy the candy first before I forget. Alright! More candy. I'll buy it. Thank you. I want it. Okay, thank you, and now now we're dealing with this. All right, just to verify, turn up prices. 602 bells, that's much better. That's more than 10 times what it was on my island. That's 12 times what it was on my island. Gosh darn it. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Those, 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 those. That's it, I want you to have all of those. Let's see how many I get right now. All right. 1.5 million bells! Just a casual transaction at the shop. Nothing like walking in and getting 1.5 million dollars for a simple sale. Mastering the stock market. And when I say mastering the stock market, I mean abusing the fact that I can go to someone else's island and sell my items for a profit because my items stock market for some reason is not doing so hot. All right, well here, you can have one of these money bags. I don't need that many. I don't need the money. Thank you. I'm gonna give you that T.Y. All right, cool, and yet, after all that, I still haven't knocked out the Nook Miles achievement. Well, with any luck, I can come back later and sell more turnips. Or maybe just selling the rest of the turnips on my island for a loss will be enough. But either way, this is very beneficial. I went to two different islands today and sold my turnips for 600 plus bells each. Oh, that's so good when you buy each turnip for 91 bells. All right, he's letting me back on his island to one, look at the memes again, and two, to sell even more of my turnips, and even then, even then, it's not all of my turnips. It's not all of them. But hopefully, with the amount that I did bring, and the amount that I plan to sell, which is all the ones that I brought, I will finally make enough bells off of this thing to knock out that Nook Miles achievement for selling bells for, or selling turnips for bells. I had to make 10 million bells off of selling turnips today. I have already made, what, like four million? I think after this batch I'll be done. Oh, <laughs> that's right. I gotta give you a reaction before I go inside. Very good, yes. Yes, yes, yes. There you go, even if today was just selling turnips, I at least finally learned a reaction from Pietro. That only leaves one reaction from Boris, and then I'll know them all, besides the Halloween ones that the owner of this island has been doing. Can I buy another piece of candy, though? I can? I can buy as many pieces of candy as I want from your island as long as I keep walking out and revisiting. <laughs> I feel like that guy that abuses the free sample rule at ice cream stores. Walk out, come back in, ask for another free sample. Great! Well, okay. Here we go. I got 1.5 million turnips last time. Let's get another 1.5 million, huh? There we go. Nice. I think I missed one, but whatever. 
1.5! Yes, there we go. That's another 3 million bells I made today. 4 million, whatever. There, is that it? Did I get the Nook Miles achievement? Oh, 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 oh. 11.4 million bells made off of turnips. I can now call myself a shadowy fixer. Whatever that means. Well, there you go. Thank goodness for the ability for me to go online and sell my turnips on other people's islands. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm going to buy some fruit real quickly, too, and sell that back up my island. That was going to be the focus of today's video. Just buying fruit and selling it my island, but I guess we'll have to say that for a different day. Maybe tomorrow, although if I want to maintain patterns that I've had in my series, tomorrow will be day 191, and that means tomorrow would have to be a multiplayer video, and I'll be real with you guys. At this exact moment in time, I don't have a guest for tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see what I can do. Hello, everyone. I've got the Nook Miles achievement. I'm gonna, yeah, I did forget to sell some, whatever. All right, here you go. It'd be rude of me to go back in and sell more, right? So here, you can have that. I guess I could leave the turnips with him, but whatever. Got the Nook. I know, he's probably waiting for me to leave. I'm sorry, I gotta let him know. Got the Nook Miles. And then I'll say reward instead of achievement. Because that's quicker to type and it will fit. Got the Nook Miles reward, exclamation point, baby! Nice! Thank you so much for everybody for letting me go to their islands and selling my turnips for my own personal gain. But I left you some bells, so I'm not completely selfish, right? There you go. Oh, thank goodness for people like him. Thank goodness for charitable people that just leave their gates open. Okay! I still have a few more turnips back on my own island. I'm not gonna sell them today. I wanna see what my turnip prices are tomorrow. The last possible day to sell turnips before the prices reset. Or rather, they don't reset before just the, the week is over. Because you can't sell turnips on Sunday. So tomorrow is the last possible day I can sell them before they go rotten. I will see what my turnip prices are, and if they are the lowest they'll ever be, at like four bells a turnip, I'll still sell them. All right, saving, boom. That Nook Miles achievement is saved forever. I am a millionaire, not a billionaire, but I probably could call myself a billionaire, haha. Huh? Billionaire, because I've made millions of bells. Okay, I'm going back to my island now, where I can make all the jokes I want without being judged. Once I get on the ground anyway. All right, well, cool. There, so I knocked out a Nook Miles achievement. I learned a reaction and I popped a couple balloons. All of a sudden, it's starting to look like I made a ton of progress in today's video, and that is good. But we are not done just yet. I wanted to deposit these bells into my bank account. I want to pick up the items I set on the beach. With any luck, I would love to pop one more balloon. And then, I don't, I don't know what else I wanna do. That's right, I left this over here. This is the gas pump, whatever. Okay, cool. Now let's pick up all my other stuff. So there's that. Yeah, just a few more turnips. Like 20 or so left. Yeah, I guess I could have sold these turnips while I was on his island, but that's okay. It's fine. All right, let's let's pick up. All right, let's deposit the money first, and then let's pick up everything else afterward. All right. All right. Oh, uh, what's up? You don't have a reaction to teach me. You couldn't. I can only learn one reaction per day. But even so, you've already taught me a reaction. You want to get rid of your buh -huh 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 statement? Nah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. It suits you. Okay. Keep saying buh -huh -huh and Bertha Wertha. I think I have completely corrupted your character. I think I've completely gone against what your character was designed to be in Animal Crossing. But I think it's funny what I have done. And I don't think it's offensive. So we're going to keep going with it. Saying Bertha Wertha and buh -huh -huh. That's not anything offensive in another language, right? All right, deposit. Look at this. 1.48 million bells. There we go. Now I have more than 10 million bells in my bank account. That's looking more like it. There. Knocked out the Nook Miles achievement. No doubt about it. Very good. Very good. Very good. <sighs> it took many, many months. And I imagine that was the game's design. But I probably was not supposed to knock out that achievement as quickly as I did. But the less achievements I have to worry about now the less I'll have to worry about when the series starts to come to a close during the final few, few, final few weeks of the video. So, that's good. All right, so I guess I just pick up everything else. So, customization blocks, then we'll pick up the stones, then we'll pick up the clay. I don't have any iron nuggets, huh? So then we can just do tree branches after that. And then everything else after that, the order doesn't really matter. 
I just want to make sure that my crafting supplies are at the top of my inventory. Am I picking up the items in that order? It should line up that way. We should be good. Right? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta sell the DIY recipes. Okay, let me go do that. I probably could catch one or two bugs, but I don't want to get too distracted. What I could do real quickly is I... I guess I could bonk the rocks and get some iron nuggets. Hang on, wait. This isn't right. No, that is right. Okay, that is right. That is right. All right, put the shovel back there. That's my bad. Okay, let's get a couple iron nuggets just so that my inventory looks like how it originally was looking. And I'm going to start by bonking this rock. And I'll bonk a couple rocks, but I don't... I don't plan to bonk all of them today. There we go, iron nuggets. Although, if it wants to give me a gold nugget, I won't complain. Alright, some iron nuggets, though. Yeah, gonna need those for crafting things in the future. I sold all of these things so I could afford to buy fruit on Jughead's Island last night. And I did that. And now that that is done, I'm going to bonk this rock. There we go, more supplies! Doesn't matter if my shovel breaks or not. I'd prefer if it didn't right now because I'm trying to manage my time as efficiently as possible. But it's good. It's all good because I don't have to worry about knocking out the breaking tool no miles achievement anymore. I don't have to worry about breaking axes over this anymore to learn how to make the golden axe. I am set, see? By knocking out these Nook Miles achievements earlier than later, I am more at ease for the remainder of the series. Now, there's still a few other Nook Miles achievements that I'm going to give a lot of focus to. Like, I still have to pop 300 balloons. I still have to help Gulliver and Wisp enough times. And I still have to finish catching all of the bugs and all of the fish. And I have to catch, like, another thousand more bugs and fish. That's probably going to be what these parts focus on for the next few videos. But for now, that's done. We're good. Yeah, now I can move... There they are. I can move the iron nuggets up here. And then the stone axe goes over to the left. Because I like to have all of my tools on the left side of my inventory. Alright. Very good. Now, let's sell some stuff. And then I will go to my house, drop off some stuff, and then we will be good. Alright. Easy peasy. I'm gonna sell you those oranges I got. Oh, Brofina's in here. Hi, Brofina. I heard somebody has a birthday coming up, and it's not me because mine just passed. Almost a week ago at this point, actually, huh? Alright, here we go. So, more candy, because I never bought candy on my own island today. Very good! Lots and lots of candy. And then, tell you what, I'm gonna buy some pears. Just some! The video's not gonna focus on this, especially not at this point. I'm just gonna get some pears and sell them back to you. So that way, tomorrow or the day after, when all I do is focus on this, it'll take even less time to finally knock out the Nook Miles achievement, because I'm making a slight dent today. So here's these. And then, I'll sell the retro gas pump, why not? And then that. And I thought I had more to sell, but I guess not. Alright, there you go. Boom. 4,275 bells. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Excuse me. I guess that's all I had to do in here. Very, very good. Alright. Then in that case, we'll stop by my house, and then I will probably end the video after I finish putting all my stuff away. Cool. Like, I could go around and talk to the rest of my villagers. I could go and water my flowers real quickly because I had a Nook Miles achievement for watering my flowers. That's an easy one. So I'll do that real quickly because all I got to do is stand over here, open up my inventory, get out my golden watering can, press A, and then boom. Daily Nook Miles achievement conquered. Very good. All right. So there's that. Boom. Easy. Oh, and then if I craft one more thing, I'll knock out another Nook Miles achievement. Alright, I'm one item away. I may as well. Let's see what I can craft using the tools that I have on me. I've learned a couple of DIY re recipes recently. Maybe I can craft something. Again, there's nothing to be obtained for crafting one of every item in the game. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. And even so, it might not actually be possible for some players to craft one of every item in the game because some items that are necessary for crafting are season seasonal exclusive. So if you pick up the game too late... You might not be able to get some of those. Ooh, stone lion dog. I have half of the stones necessary to craft this. Well, if I bonk a few more rocks, I can have enough. I mean, it looks cool and it's customizable. Okay. So if I just bonk, I can bonk like two or three more rocks. Although, one of the rocks is going to be the money rock. And I don't know that I can get 12 stones from these unless they were all stones. So no, let's not do the stone lion dog. Let's craft something else instead. We'll craft the stone lion dog tomorrow or the day after. Sometime soon, but not today. So what are my other options? Let's go over to the... Hmm. It looks nice in the center of everything. Alright, let's go over to the craftable section. And let's look for something that doesn't have a check mark. Now, for better or for worse, most of these have a check mark. And I don't regularly use a lot of these items, but it's nice to know that there are so many options available. Alright, dark wooden mosaic wall. 
made with regular wood and not hardwood? You'd think something called a dark wood and mosaic wall would be made with hardwood, no? But alright, we made that, used up the last of my wood supply. Got the daily Nook Miles achievement. Very good, got that, thank you. Easy peasy. Oh, and now I got earned bells by selling items. So I just did that! That's what my whole focus of today was! Was selling items for bells. Did you not just see me get 3 million bells game? But fine. Fine. I'll play along. So, that goes into storage. I don't have as many things to put into storage as I thought. So instead, I'm actually going to go through my storage right now and see which items I have duplicates of. And I will put those into my pockets and sell them at the shop. So, yeah, here we go. I've got a bunch of these artisanal bug cages. Artisanal? 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 Well, I got multiple of them. And I got a bunch of mugs, because my friend Charles came over and dropped off a bunch of mugs. And as far as I'm concerned, they don't have different themes. So I'll take those. Thank you. Gotta hang on to the magazines and the document stacks, though. Those are, those, those are important. Gotta hang on to the trains. Wallpapers? I mean, I have a couple duplicates, but I could see friends or... or People, just people in general wanting them. I could trade it to them and get something else in return. Outfit, same type of thing. Someone might want a specific outfit. What about like extra bugs or extra fish I have that I already made models of? Jumper works either. I'll, I'll, I don't need an extra one of those. Okay. Yeah, the rest of these are the rest of these are fine. I don't even wear most of these outfits. So, you know, extra security uniform. Fine. I, I can already order. I can always order more of those. That's not too big of a deal. Okay. So now. Uh, glasses. I, I kind of like having the extra glasses, though. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so extra bugs. So I already made a model of the Atlas Moth, so I guess I could put a few of these in my pockets. And I think all of those collectively should get me to 5,000 bells, which will be enough to proc this daily Nook Miles achievement. And then when that's done, this video's done. Alright, I popped, what, three balloons today? I don't need to pop another one. I'm already going inside and outside anyway, so if I wanted to try and pop another balloon, I'd probably have to do a few more laps on my island before another one spawns, knowing my luck. So I'm, I'm content on that. Let me knock out this daily look of achievement, and then let me finally be done with this video. Okay? Alright. Timmy, Tommy, hello. I want to sell. Alright. So the bug cage is cleaning up my storage, and then you can have those. And that should be it. You shouldn't need anything else. That should barely put me over. All right, 8,182, perfect. Thank you. And now I'll get the Daily Nook Miles achievement. Very good. All right, folks. I'm tired. It was, a, it was a lot for me, but it was probably a whole lot of nothing for you. And that Redeemed Nook Miles achievement is easy, but I'm not going to do it because I know if I do that, I'll go down a rabbit hole and I'll just want to focus on a bunch of other Nook Miles achievements. So no, I'm good. I'm good. I knocked out some major stuff today and I'm content with that. So for now, that wraps up today's video and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos, whether it's just me selling fruit or me doing something a lot more worthwhile. But for now, whoosh! Hey, thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. If you want to show your support, one of the best things you can do is leave a comment down below. So if you have anything nice you want to say about the video, or if you have any questions, I'll try to respond to whatever I can at my earliest convenience. Either way, your support means a lot and I really appreciate it. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye-bye!